Antonin Dvorak (1841–1904) was a Czech composer who is widely considered one of the greatest composers of the late Romantic period. He is known for his passionate and expressive music, which drew heavily on the folk music and cultural traditions of his native Bohemia. Dvorak was born in a small village near Prague, Czechoslovakia, in 1841. His father was a butcher and innkeeper who played the zither, a type of stringed instrument, and his mother was a talented singer. From a young age, Dvorak showed a natural talent for music, and he began taking piano lessons when he was just six years old. Despite his early aptitude for music, Dvorak's family did not initially support his ambition to become a professional musician. He worked as an apprentice butcher for several years, but he continued to pursue his musical studies in his spare time. In 1862, he entered the Prague Organ School, where he studied music theory and composition. Dvorak's breakthrough came in 1877 when he won an important national music competition with his patriotic cantata The Heirs of the White Mountain. The success of this work brought him to the attention of the Viennese music establishment, and he was soon commissioned to write a number of works for performance in the Austrian capital. Dvorak's most famous works include his Symphony No. 9, From the New World, which was inspired by his travels in America, and his cello concerto in B minor, which is considered one of the greatest cello concertos ever written. He also wrote a number of chamber music works, including string quartets and piano trios. Throughout his career, Dvorak remained deeply connected to the cultural traditions of his native Bohemia. He was particularly interested in the folk music of the region, and he incorporated many elements of this music into his compositions. He also wrote a number of works based on Czech legends and stories. Dvorak's music was well received in his lifetime, and he received many honors and awards for his work. He was appointed director of the National Conservatory of Music in New York City in 1892, where he taught for three years and composed some of his most famous works. He returned to Europe in 1895 and spent the rest of his life in his native Czechoslovakia. Dvorak died in Prague in 1904 at the age of 62. He left behind a rich legacy of music that continues to be performed and studied around the world. His passionate and expressive compositions, with their deep roots in the cultural traditions of Bohemia, continue to inspire and move audiences to this day.